Hi guys, it's Lara. Uh, I got a few questions about what was inside my awesome new art bag that I've just created. Some of you may have seen it on my last post on Instagram. Uh, if you haven't, go have a peek, see what my finished product looks like, because it is quite awesome. Uh, this was inspired by uh, a lot of different people's studios, but in particular, uh, Mab Graves uh, recent, well, I guess not recent, but her, her art bag that she has shown a few times. Um, just loved the vintage look to it. I thought it was really cute and it seemed to hold a lot of stuff and I'm a gal who likes to carry a lot of stuff so I wanted to try my own bag. So without further ado, although you will see it empty, this is my new art bag. Ta-da! Now, this interior, when I first got this bag, was in fact actually uh, uh, quilted in uh, blue satin and had frills all on the inside, all on the inside and here. And though it was in very good shape and didn't look bad or didn't have any particularly bad smells, it had frills. I don't do frills. We are. So Mark and I did a little hunt and we found out this amazing fabric and this is in fact what we have chosen. Um, we tore the whole thing apart, uh, kept all the little pieces that came together because it in fact tore apart perfectly and gave us a perfect template to use so that we could actually make this happen. Um, and then we just cut out some chipboard, uh, was really cheap and attach the fabric to the chipboard to make sure it stayed nice and strong. Give it a little bit of extra sturdiness in here and a little bit of strength on the edges here and glued it all back into place. I, I used wood glue, probably not the right glue. Um, didn't say I was a perfectionist, but it is amazing and it stuck. And so the glue did what it needed to do. Um, and then it was just like, it's cool, but I needed to do something a little bit more interesting. And so as I was putting all of my stuff on the inside of it, I realized that I needed to make it more sturdy. So that's why you see these hooks here on either side. These were put into place so that I can put my tiny little um, pulley thing. I don't know what the hell they're called. These across the top of it and keep it, everything into the place like it needs to be. Um, and then I decided that this top part, since it wasn't getting used for what I had originally thought would be pockets and all sorts of things, that it needs to be a gallery of inspiration for me. So I have some things in here that I've already collected. Um, I have no particular reason for that other than I love skulls. This stickers is a set that I just purchased recently from artist Oh my dear God, I hope I don't say this wrong. Uh, Bao Pham, I think is how you say it. Bao Pham. i probably brutalizing that. I am so sorry. Freaking gorgeous stickers. Can you see? Can you see? It's like all rainbowy. Oh, it's gorgeous. I have a collection, and although this is technically the smallest part of my collection, it is my favorites of my collection of pins and stuff that I've collected. Um, I have from Rabinana, I love her art, have some on my wall, have some all over, well, you'll see, it's coming. These I got from, um, from my work, Opus, don't have a clue who makes them. From Desserts, also don't have a clue who makes them. Got this from a bucket of pins in the military shop down the street from us. I also don't know who makes it. But it's a laser baby. Crystal Sierra, Sierra Crystal. I am so sorry. I'll figure out who makes those. My nephew would tell me because he's completely in love with the ones that I got for him. Or that I won and gave to him, rad. Uh, KGB, a uh, KGB, she is lovely and I have quite a bit of her artwork too. Look at it, it's a little human and a bird. These need no explanation. I can't remember who does this one, but I have two sets of them and I've given them away to everybody because who doesn't love that? 
then when I scroll out, I come to this. This little precious beauty. Oh, I think it's by Lauren Brevner. I, I got it from her. I believe it's her piece. She was giving away some uh, frames and I came and collected them all and this little amazing little piece was stuck in there and I I really hope it's from her because I love her work as it is and I would feel flippin' honored to know that I have one of these pieces and that she's allowing me to keep it. So this will come with me wherever I go. It will never ever leave my side. It is awesome. I love this. And this is my bag so far. The outside is actually in quite remarkable shape. There's a few scuffs here and there. I kind of dig the blue color. It's pretty rad. Now we're going to fill it. My sketchbooks. Again, more stickers by, again, I'm probably going to say it horribly wrong. Biofam, Biofam. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly, but I love your artwork so very, 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 very much. And I will endeavor to learn how to say your name properly. These books are essentially the same. They're different sizes. Um, I like to have a variety of sizes when I go, everywhere I go. But what I actually have here is something that I've kind of created. I have a hot press and cold press version of watercolor sketching books that I have attached together by uh, Stillman and Burn. They are their beta and zeta books together. And um, I just, I like to have smooth paper and rough paper wherever I go. So I attached them together and I made them uh, hard bound books because I travel and I'm a bit rough on my stuff, so I wanted them to be nice and sturdy wherever I go. I love these books. I can't say enough good things about these books. I use them all the time, but now I've made them personal. And uh, of course, colored ribbons because colored ribbons. My brush cases, my brush case, my brushes. These, as I was telling my friend Jess, I love brushes, I have a brush obsession. I'm also a makeup artist by trade and I have a lot of brushes. It's ridiculous. Um, as you can see, I like to personalize all of my stuff with some of my favorite artists and, and this is some of my favorite artists. Uh, again, I have some Robina Ness stickers because uh, she is amazing and I love her artwork. My buddy Color Bandit um, or Colored and he's Jerome Fleming in, in Phoenix. He's amazing. Um, my friend from Vancouver who we've done a number of art shows with and whatnot, her name is Flavia and she goes by Cats Can Pupe. Love her artwork. And my coworker and buddy, Ilias Davinsky, I think is how you say it. I'm so sorry if I didn't say that right. Um, I mean, come on, that's gorgeous. So I've got lots of friends and stickers. And these are my brushes. Uh, admittedly, this um, little swatch that I have here is officially out of date, so it's gonna be changed. Um, I have brushes from Trakel. I have Skoda brushes. I have Opus Art Supply brushes. Um, these are my favorite squirrel, synth synthetic squirrel brushes. They just, they hold lots of water, it's great. Um, these guys, oh, I just, I love mop brushes. I love the way that they flow. I love how much water they hold. I love the fact that they just sort of plop about on paper when you're using them, they're beautiful. Um, I did some work for some friends in England and this was my pay from that. And these are from Windsor and Newton and they're actual squirrel. Oh, just lovely. I, love them. I, I think I got this in a dollar store and it's weirdly a great brush. Uh, da Vinci, I got this one when Da Vinci came to my store at Opus and just to say hi and you know, let us learn a little bit about their brushes. Yay, good score. Um, and some more Trakel brushes. Mm -hmm. um, I have some Windsor & Newton again, some S Series 7 brushes, the Queen's brushes. And then this weird looking shaped dude at the end here is to apply any masking fluid that I apply when I want to do um, 
block off areas on my paintings, which is great. And this is my little personal bag. And this changes a lot. I'm not 100% sold on my brushes in any way, shape, or form. I'm willing to experiment. I, as I told you, Jess, I'm always experimenting. My brushes. <laughs> Okay, next up, uh, my pencil crayons. This has been an uphill, downhill, sliding scale battle with me for quite some time and how the hell I'm gonna carry my pencil crayons with me. Ideally, it would not be like this. Ideally, it would be in my lovely 120 pencil case that I have that is lovely and has stuff all over it and would be just perfect and I can see everything and all the colors are laid out perfectly and it looks great and it's perfect, but alas, it does not fit with everything else into my perfect case. So my perfect case is only slightly less than perfect because I have to now carry my pencil crayons like this. However, it could be worse. I have this, which is a fireproof blanket that my husband got from someplace a long time ago that clearly we are worried about fire because we've cut it up and use it in crafts instead of actually using it as fire blanket. So I have all my pencil crayons in here and I have my uh, pencil sharpener, lovely. Uh, I have two brands in here. I have the Karen Dash Luminance pencils. I'm sure that the people of the world who know how expensive these pencils are and are seeing how they're being stored right now is as upset as I am about storing them this way. It's horrifying. However, it works. I also have the Faber-Castell polychromos pencils. Those are the pencils that I carry. I have a 60 set of those and a 40 set of these? 40 set of these. The blanket's keeping them safer, I promise. They're not getting horribly damaged like this. It just seems like they could be. And really, it, it's upsetting. However, that's the pencils and now they actually get to come with me. So it works. My pencil case, my pen and pencil case. I, I got uh, comments when I went to art night not that long ago about how organized I am with everything. Yes, yes I am. It's a thing. So my pencil case, um, this is one of those Pratt. Uh, my friends in England are probably laughing right now pretty hard about that case um, that I just got from Opus. Um, yeah, it's actually remarkable how much it holds. Uh, this case, I kind of had doubts about it when I got it and turns out I, I don't know how I ever lived without it. It is quite, it's quite something. So uh, this side of my case is my pencils. Um, I have a whole bunch of the color Enos. I have all the color Enos that I know of. Um, and I use them actually quite a lot. I layer, like to layer a lot of skin tones with these when I'm doing pencil drawings. They, they, they work really nicely together. They're quite surprisingly opaque and I really like them. But they also disappear with water when I'm using them with water, which is spot on. And on this side, is my, some of my pens. I have decided to try and explore other options than black lines when I've been doing my artwork recently. And although it feels very naked for me as an artist to not have black lines everywhere, I also now have the option of doing brown lines or blue lines. These two things that are here are actually filled with some water and some ink each so that they're to make some washes so that they'll go with each of these. So this is the blue wash, this is the brown wash. And when I flip it over, this is the black section of the my stuff. Um, I have my ultimate favorite brush pen for now until I go take a look at that Kiritaki one that I just heard about recently. But it's the Pentel brush pen. It's just great. I have my new Lamy pen. My last Lemmy pen got wrecked. Oh, I was so sad. But anyways, it's mango, so that's like, <laughs> it's perfect. Black ink in that sucker, it's nice. Uh, there's actually an eraser in here too, but it didn't fit on the other side. 
Um, I have Winsor & Newton black pens. I'm still on the hunt for the perfect fine liner pen, but so far these ones are really working for me recently. I kind of like the way they feel in the hands. They feel elegant and they're, they've got a nice smooth surface to them. They have a nice weight to them. It feels like almost using a pencil a bit. So I, I don't know, I like those. I like them so far. But if anybody knows that they're fine liner pens that are sold on, I would totally take the options because I'm a sucker for that kind of shit. I mean, stuff. Sorry. Um, this holds my phone up. It's a little thing. Uh, yeah, and some more black wash ink that I use. I have my refills on the side here for each of those things, or at least one or two, so that I have that at all times because I need them. Um, and my racers and my gum eraser, eraser thing for the um, masking fluid. Yeah, that's my pencil case, and it's quite awesome. It holds a lot, and it's great. Oh, this is a... a scene picker outer thing what a view catcher thing and it's and it's quite awesome it's uh truthfully i've never used it but i want to so one day somehow i'll figure out the way to use it but i carry it with me everywhere i go anyways that's my pencil part of that so for traveling i have to narrow it down uh, and over a long time, I've had about uh, four or five <laughs> different small palettes that I take with me that I have uh, slowly but surely realized is uh, stupid when you're trying to travel and you need to carry less. So I have uh, narrowed it down to this guy, which is um, a Mungio palette 48 that I have actually taken all the Mungio paints out. Sorry, Mungio. Um, and have a number of different other paints inside of it. Um, these I got from the Hot Art Wood City. Yes, Chris Benson. Um, I love, they're just awesome. Anyways, this palette. Um, I have this in here because I use a lot of gouache paint and gouache paint gets really crumbly. And so therefore I like to keep it from falling out inside the palette when I'm traveling and this keeps it nice and tight inside. And here are my colors. This is actually two palettes combined. It's uh, from kind of this section, which is my um, Holbein watercolors and Holbein um, um, uh, gouache. And also actually some Mungio paints in there, believe it or not, um, that I have from other different palettes. They're, they're a very nice paint. There's lots of nice stuff happening here. But then this, this little section here of these pretty colors is actually um, art philosophy, I think. It's their vintage pastel palette. I love these. They're really pretty. They're kind of, I think they're called confection colors or something like that. There's a whole bunch of different palettes. They all come with like 12 in them. It's just a teeny little thing. And so this is what I've managed to put together. And this is my final selection of paints that I travel with when I'm going someplace. Oops. Put that back in because of crumbly paint. And then it goes because um, things are wet often. It goes into the cat bag. And I love this bag. I have found every reason in the world to use this. It's just, just fits the paint in there, but it keeps it nice and tight. And then that, that way, if the paint thing is still wet, it's gonna stay nice and dry. So that just sits in there. And so far, that's my, my bag so far. Uh, I also have been in, in the same vein as not trying to use any harsh black lines as much as possible. I've been really leaning on this little thing recently, which is a, a puck of water soluble graphite. And it, it creates some really beautiful soft pencil lines to some really dark, dark, dark color in there. And like, it's it's just, it's very pretty. It works really nicely with a lot of the paints that are in there, and I and I think it's a, it's a great thing to carry with me, and it, it encourages me to not do that uh, with the harsh lines. I also have my little uh, sort of tools bag of sorts. Um, I always carry a knife with me. Yeah, so beware. I am dangerous, ish. Although I I would probably, although I love to create it as a makeup artist, I'd probably barf at the sight of your blood and won't pass out, and I'm. I'm no murderer. Anyways, I also have clips with me. That's really important. 
Um, and they kind of just sort of all tuck in here. Um, and it's just tools and stuff. Oh yes, oh, and my masking fluid, which also goes in there. Um, this was actually a Holbein mask. Yes, I love Holbein. If you haven't noticed, that is definitely a brand I'm into. Um, but this is their masking fluid just repotted into a little one that makes it easier for me to carry with me. And that just plunks itself right into the front here. Doo, doo, doo. I feel like I'm missing stuff, but I'm not. I've got it all here. Uh, oh, if you're wondering what all this is, um, I like to have another little tiny just doodling sketchbook with it. This sticker is compliments of in glitter and litter, who is my buddy now, uh, Jess. And she sends me some and has sent me some of the coolest little stickers recently that I quite love. But anyways, this guy made it on here and it's lovely. I think this is a oh, Lucturum 1917 sketchbook. And yeah, I barely touched it, um, but it's mostly just like testing pages in here, which is why it's all done it. But anyways, it's my little doodle book to go with me. And that's gonna stay in here as well. It's gonna look like I don't have that room for everything, but I fully do. Um, some extra little travel papers that I have with me. Um, I always kind of have everything, some Stonehenge hot press and cold press papers, just in case I want to do some little individual drawings and stuff that are in there. Um, I always have to have a spray bottle with me of water because I don't think that needs an explanation. I have water with me. I use watercolor and gouache. and um, my water containers and I carry that all with me as well just sort of tucks into here and tape because I tape a lot of stuff off like you do and um, my towels I carry a lot of those uh, shop towels I think they're just called shop towels blue ones I love these things um, and and they, they take forever for me to end up having to throw them away. So I feel like I'm actually better for the environment because I, it takes me a really long time to go through a little stack of these. Whereas paper towels are kind of like, oh, they work really good for a while and then they just kind of fall apart. These never technically fall apart. They just get dirty and you have to throw them out eventually. So I always have that with me. And that is my travel bag.